Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. I've got a um, different sort of uh, video for you today. This is, it's not a pen mail video. This is a pen that I picked up uh, the other day in a charity shop uh, near where I live. Um, it was only cheap, to be honest. Um, at first it looked like it was going to be an absolute steal, but on closer inspection, as we'll discover, um, it's still a bargain, but not what it at, at first seems. So what we've got, cross. We have a nice cross, hard case. Um, yep, there we go. Cross fountain pens made in America. And inside we have the pen. Now, the pen is it's quite a slim pen. It's um, It's all metal with this uh, brushed chrome finish, gold cap bands, gold finial, gold pocket clip, silver uh, end to the barrel there. Now, um, what looks to be a very, very generic nib, plastic section. It's got a fair bit of ink, blue ink, gonked up inside the... Uh, the feed there, uh, interesting, very plain plastic feed, no fins, this unscrews and lo and behold some lovely person's left a, uh, what looks to be a standard international ink cartridge in there, probably for some years, so this is going to take quite a bit of cleaning. Anyway, so why am I talking about the pen to begin with? Uh, reason's fairly simple looks like a cross box and we'll see there's some really good cross goodies in there but on the clip pen quest now at first i thought i'm because i'm no vintage pen enthusiast no vintage pen expert and i thought well is that the model number and i thought no it just seems a little bit strange that it's not an to me what would obviously be a cross pen and pen quest to me shouted out this pen does not belong in this lovely box so what somebody has done they've just popped any old fountain pen into this box now these pen quest pens fountain pens i've done a little bit of research into them um they seem to be quite common uh in the latter half of the 20th century in the uk and they were often given away as freebies. There's no other markings on there. It's not branded or um, it's not been uh, sold as a uh, as a promotional item. Um, but there we go. There is the manufacturer, PenQuest, on the clip. So, okay, fair enough. Didn't pay a lot for this and I'm not bothered because I knew roughly what I was getting into. What I actually did like was this lovely cross box, um, which came with some ink cartridges, cross ink cartridges, the cardboard box is still in pretty good condition, and there are ink cartridges inside. So we have got proper, what appear to be blue, yep, cross ink cartridges. So, yeah, there we go. Still got the, uh, the ink cartridges in there, which is a nice touch. So that sort of completes the set, minus the pen. <laughs> Pop those back in there. We've got a cartridge converter, which is, yeah, it's the uh, twisty type. And that has never been used. That is, yeah, that's fine. On here we have got, get this to focus. Get this out of the way for a moment. Cross engraved on the thing. So nice cross cartridge converter, which is, uh, it's quite nice to have that in the box as well. And last thing is this instruction leaflet that clearly is not the cross pen on the front <laughs> because it's not even the same 
manufacturer. But there we go, cross little booklet with various languages, the instructions in there. I'll just skip over to the English bit. There we go. How to care for your pen, all that sort of stuff. Using the cross converter and bottled ink. So, yep, there we go. Little instructions. And congratulations, you are now the owner of the, one of the world's finest writing instruments. A lifetime of writing pleasure is yours with a few moments' attention to the following details of use and care. There you go. So, operating instructions, cap, nib, front section, ink cartridges, barrel. Just in case you needed any guidance. So, yep, that is that. But, the nice thing about this, and to be honest, this is what sold it to me, um, was the, I mean, if you like, the completeness of this little kit, apart from the pen... But what sold it to me was the stamping. There we go. Selfridges Limited, 26th of November 1992. And I thought that was a lovely little piece of, if you like, history. Um, it's I do like paper ephemera. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's nice to have paperwork with things like this. Forget about the pen. I've got a nice cross pen case with all the accessories just not the pen and to actually think that yeah somebody bought this lot in Selfridges 26th November 1992 is quite a nice little thing so yeah very nice little charity shop find there so shame about the pen but you know I'll probably give this uh, this pen quest pen a, uh, a clean up and um, and try it out just to see because I've not got any experience of that brand at all so it will be interesting to see how that goes. Anyway thank you very much for watching I shall close, close the lid on this case and I shall see you another time thanks a lot, bye <laughs>